Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is use some of these uh, stamps of uh, plants and insects from the yard and make a just make a cup. And the second thing I'll do is introduce you to the, this newest method that I said I just learned, you know, after it was in front of me all these years. So with every piece, you have to center the clay so that it's not wobbling around. I say you need to. You can make pots when the clay's off center. It just creates different kinds of aesthetics. I often put the pretty sharp little um, spiral in the bottom here so that when it's finished and you're drinking out of it, if it's a, a bit of while, it's actually happening right now. The, 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 how the, You can drain a cup like this, but whatever's in there, whether it's wine or coffee or milk or juice, it always goes back and draws that little spiral in the bottom. And it's my way of saying, you know, a machine can't do this, <laughs> so uh, a little signature of, of the handmade. After years and years and years of making pots, um, making symmetrical and even pieces um, is so much a part of me that I have to actually work to make things a little uneven and irregularity and unevenness can add life if it's used correctly. So uh, just right there I was making the top of this cup a little uneven so that it dances a little bit. And now I'm going to just scrape off any of the extra clay slurry and make this wet clay as dry as wet clay can be, taking off all the water that I've just applied. I'm over vegetation. So here we have some of the ferns that we grow out in our side yard. And I'm going to make the image transfer right onto the pot of the ferns. And here's some of the wild grapevine that grows right across the road. And I'll be using, using that. You can see some of the tendrils and the stems and the leaves. And there you can see the transfer. So with that as kind of the, the background, I guess if you were a painter, you'd be painting in some of the background before you work with the foreground. And without touching the outside, now I'm expanding the piece to give it the shape that I want. Getting that nice undulation on the top rim. I'm gonna smooth it out just a little bit. So now I've left myself in this little theater uh, space for the, for the action between these uh, praying mantis. And so here's, here's what we're going to use as the female. And she's going to be kind of hiding over here in the thicket. In order for this to read really well, um, we'll just add some eyes as she's got her head turned toward us. One of 
parts of being a production potter that has made its way into my work even now is uh, I wanted pots in my production studio to be as close to finished as they could possibly be when they came off the wheel. So I've devised some ways of trimming off extra clay and um, leaving the bottoms so that they just need to be smooth rather than uh, rather than really significantly trimmed, or uh, actually adding a decorative mark uh, with this. This is a just a uh, wiggly wire. So I'll actually decorate the bottom with the cutoff. So it's pretty much done at this stage. <laughs> 